I was recently asked to recreate this bench that has some fire damage on it and while just taking it apart and making some full size templates would be fine, it doesn't do much for anybody else who wants to build one as well. So the first thing I need to do is take a picture of all these interior funny shaped parts next to a ruler of some sort, that way I have some type of scale to go off of on the computer. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is something that's not really 100% necessary, and that is remove some of this inside material so I don't have to print that and waste the ink. So I am using GIMP, which is a free version of Photoshop, basically. Um, anyway, I'm going to use this lasso tool to remove some of the stuff that is not necessary to print and I'll just crop all this out of the picture alright so control I to select the inverse press delete to remove it control I to get back into my selection and then go to uh, image crop to selection so this is what I'm working with here and now I can use the eraser tool to let's get this bigger real quick to remove some of this interior stuff that I don't want to waste my ink on nothing fancy here just like you said removing material All right, now that I have it the way that I want it, I'm just going to save this image as a JPEG file, go to my desktop, and go to Horsebench Modify. And that'll be fine. Now I can open up the Big Print program. And in Big Print, I can File Open. Let's go to the modified image. Let's open this up. And first thing I need to do is set my scale. So let's go to image calibrate scale by distance. I'm going to zoom in here on the 15 mark. And I'm going to go all the way up here to the 34. And the distance between 15 and 34 is 19 inches. There's metric units if that's what you prefer. And now my scale is set. This tells me I have six pieces of paper to print off of. So let's first let's adjust this color a little bit. There's some ink saver settings already in, in this program. You can automatically just lighten areas and it does a really good job except for low contrast areas like this is kind of washed out and I lost my edge here. So there's actually an even more uh, harsh setting which would be nice in higher contrast uh, pictures. Mine is not, so let's go to custom. And here we can change your brightness and gamma, and I'm just going to increase the gamma a lot. Uh, that looks good. And I can still visually define an edge right here, and that's pretty much all that matters, so I'm good with that. Let's go to print, and let's see what options we get. So first, what printer are we going to use? I'm going to use a PDF printer, that way I can save this file for everybody else. And what I want to do is increase my printed area as much as I can on these pieces of paper. So I'm going to increase the overlap, that way I can trim off the, the white area on the outside of the paper where it's not full bleed. And once I get to a point where it adds more pages, let's decrease that one. Same thing with my vertical, let's go all the way till it adds a page and then subtract one. Uh, let's check print overlap area. Let's go ahead and center the image on my six pieces here. And let's click uh, show calibration distance on output. Really doesn't matter but uh, that's my 19 inches that I'm going to go by so I'll go ahead and leave it there. And let's print. So I'm printing to a PDF that way I can save this file for everybody else to print off as well. And I need to just click create PDF and save it as the document that I want and there we go now the preferred printing method is to print directly to your printer 
But like I said, I'm testing this out for you guys, so I printed to a PDF just to verify the scale. So you can, of course, print to an actual printer. But anyway, here is my PDF file, and I need to go ahead and print this off. And remember, when you print this at your home, if you do, go to your print settings and do not shrink your image. You do not want to have any type of scale on the printing. You want it to print to actual size. And go ahead and print, and it should be okay. Printed off all six pieces of that PDF and taped them together so that the grid marks line up with one another. And now I can test my scale. Remember, 15 to 34 on the computer was 19 inches. So if I go from 10 to 29, I can confirm that that's 19 inches on here. Now, you could technically glue this to one single piece of plywood to cut out all your patterns, but some of my pieces are rather close to one another, so I'm just going to use a razor blade to cut all these into individual templates. what technology is really cool nowadays I have a full size template of all my pieces here without even removing the first single piece of wood so thumbs up to Matthias Wandel for creating the big print program and hopefully this can be of some use to somebody else who is maybe trying to do the same thing thanks for watching guys and you have a great day